Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So if you watched my last video, which was a family vlog, you would know that we were out of town for the weekend. So I'm so sorry, but that's the reason that this video and actually that video was late. It was just very draining coming off of a weekend like that. Um, and I needed to regroup. So yeah, today's video is actually a tutorial using ColourPop's telepathy. Now I know that was a thing way back when, when it first um, dropped or whatever, but I just now bought it. Um, one of my subscribers, actually when she commented on one of my videos, I went and looked at um, her videos, checked out her channel. Her name is Crystal. I'm gonna leave a link to her channel down below. But, um, so I watched one of her makeup tutorials and I was like, that color is so pretty on her skin. Um, and she's a brown skin girl like myself. And so I thought that I would just try the color out instead of being scared of the bright yellow or green, whatever you wanna call it. I think it's yellow, but it does have kinda sorta of like a lime tint to it. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's how this look came about. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. This is probably going to be one of my last like summer type looks. I mean unless I'm just inspired of something else. I'm sorry unless I'm inspired from something else out of the blue this is probably going to be one of the last spring summer tutorials I do because I am just itching to get into fall stuff. You guys should know by now I've probably said it enough that I love fall and so yeah I cannot wait to get started with those makeup looks and um, I will be doing that shortly so later this week since everything um, this week has been a little off track um, I'm not sure when it'll be up maybe Friday maybe Saturday but um, I will definitely have a fall look coming and I'm so excited and I cannot wait to show you guys so yeah, anyway, no more talking. I'm going to go ahead and jump into this tutorial. Hope you guys love it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye. All right, so I'm going to be using my Morphe 350 palette for most of this look as far as the eyeshadows are concerned. So I'm just going to be taking that dusty orange color and using that as my transition shade. So as you see, I'm just swiping that back and forth with this blending brush. And I gotta zoom you guys in a little bit so that you can see what I'm really doing. I'm trying to work on my angles for my videos, so bear with me. I'm still fairly new to YouTube and I'm um, still learning. So I've just been trying different things out along the way, like even mid video, as you can see. So, yeah, that's that. All right, so now that we have that shade in, I'm going to go in with this deepened, kind of a brick, orange, brick, red color. And I'm going to place that in my crease and just blend both those shades together. Um, the Morphe 350 palette. You guys have seen it before. You've heard me talk about it before. But it is truly, truly a staple, like, product. I don't care if you're into high-end makeup, if you're in a drugstore. I don't care. I just think everyone needs this palette in their life. Um... Cause it's just good for everyday use. Like I don't care what type of look you're going for. I'm, I'm sure this palette could be used. So yeah. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with this chocolate shade. Who doesn't like chocolate, right? All right, so I'm gonna take that shade and I'm gonna use it in my outer V. I'm just gonna place that um, in a circular motion and then I'm gonna kind of swipe in um, in the crease area and I'm not taking it all the way in but maybe like halfway um, center lid so yeah we're gonna do that on both sides and then I'm gonna go in in a second and actually deepen that up just a little bit Alright, so as I mentioned, I'm going to deepen that up. And I think this is like the darkest shade in the Morphe 350 palette. They don't have a black. This is the closest thing to it. And I didn't want a black or I would have grabbed one. But yeah, this is just um, a really nice, it's like deep chocolate as well, I guess you could say. I don't know. I don't think. It's like dark chocolate. But I don't like dark chocolate, so I don't want to call it that. But yeah. I'm going to take that and deepen up that chocolate shade that I initially did. And I'm just doing the same technique. 
placing it on in a circular motion and then we're going to drag it in um, or swipe it in along that crease line. As you can see, Ava kind of joined me here. She was, <sighs> she was just on one this day and like refused to cooperate. So um, I gave in and she, she bombed my video. I don't even know what she's doing back there. Like that's my tape measurer <laughs> for like days that I work out and I do my T25 measurements and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, here's the star of the show is ColourPop's Telepathy. Now, ColourPop has all up and down their website to apply these shadows with your finger. So, I didn't want to go against the grain or anything like that. I just, I didn't even try to swatch this with a brush. I was just like, mm, let me just do what they recommend since they're the ones who created it. So, yeah, I'm going in just a little at a time. Honestly, guys, I was scared of this color. Like, and I didn't want to, like, just kind of throw it on. So, yeah, I'm just dabbing. Dab. Dab, just dabbing a little at a time. Do a dollar for fancy. No. And guys, it's okay if you're messy. Like, I'm one of those people where I don't like very precise makeup looks. Like, to me, they look more along the drag lines and I, I don't go for that so if you mess up that is all fine and dandy you can always go back in like I'm gonna do and clean that up with a blending brush and so yeah don't worry about it girl all right and as mentioned I am going back in uh, and blending out those harsh lines now I didn't add any product to this brush I just used whatever was left over so I think it's that orange anyway whatever it is it's working all right next you should already know what this is um, if you haven't watched any of my videos this is the Smashbox photo finish primer I forgot to show you guys before the clip but I think I show it to you afterwards so yeah, you want to make sure when you're using primers that you get it everywhere. Because if you don't, like the whole point of primers is to just give you that smooth canvas for your foundation to go on. And so if you apply a primer, like if you're rushing and you're not really taking your time, um, and you just apply it kind of in a patchy way, um, then your foundation is going to be patchy. And we don't want that. Now do we? No, we don't. So make sure you're taking your time and just blending this all the way out like you would anything else. All right, so yeah, that's what I, yep, right there. That's what I used. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Liquid Foundation in the color Soft Sable. Now, I love my NARS and I love my MAC, but L'Oreal has been where it's at. <laughs> I sound like a preacher, you know how they always try to rhyme sometimes? Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Seriously though guys, L'Oreal has been like my thing. It's been my go-to. Like really my other foundations have just been sitting there. I have not really used them like that. I think I used NARS like one time and it was for a quote unquote special occasion. But I have been reaching for L'Oreal for like the past, I don't know, six, eight, ten months. Yeah. I've been reaching for this bad boy. Like, it's just my baby. I, I love it. And I think it's one of the most underrated foundations ever, especially for drugstore. Like, the way it blends is just beautiful. I love the way it presses into my skin. Like, it doesn't sit on top. Like, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of makeup that makes you look dead. Or it's like, even though you know that it's makeup, I don't want it to be obvious. Like, ooh, look at her makeup. Like, I don't like that. I want it to look like my skin. Even if you know it's not, I hope that all makes sense. So yeah, I, I just love this foundation. Don't mind my sponge. Told you guys in a past video that Ava bit it. So yeah, I've been struggling. I've been struggling. Actually, no, I haven't. It works just the same. So, so I'm holding on to it until I really need to purchase another one. 
So yeah, I'm just blending that foundation out. Blend, 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 blend. Excuse my boogers. I don't know why, but I always get boogers when I do these makeup tutorials. So yeah, excuse that. Now, you know what time it is? Again, it is LA Girl Pro Concealer time. Like, I love this stuff. I don't feel the need to try anything else. Like, it works. It's been working for four or five years now. And, um... That's all I gotta say about that. So yeah, I'm just gonna draw these angel wings on my face. I mean, that's not really what I'm trying to do, but that's what they look like to me in this moment. So yeah, I'm gonna draw these angel wings on my face. I'm gonna go down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, and on my chin in just a second. And once I'm done doing that, I'm going to blend it all out with my sponge. Now, I think I mentioned this in a previous video, but just in case you did not watch that video, first of all, go watch that video. I'll link it down below. It's my highlight and contour routine. But just in case you haven't seen that video, I mentioned there, always make sure you're using a damp sponge. I don't care if it's the Real Technique sponge. I don't care if it's a beauty blender. I don't care if it's another type of knockoff of a sponge. Make sure that it is damp. Um, because that's how you're going to get the best finish. You don't want patches. You don't want patches. Say it with me. We don't want patches. That's right. We don't want patches. So we want to make sure that our sponge is wet or not wet because we don't want to drip it, girl. But we want it damp. And yeah, we're going to blend, 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 blend when it is damp. I wonder how many times I've said blend thus far in this video. So I'm just adjusting my lens again. All right, so now I'm going in with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And I don't even have to tell you like how I feel about this stuff. You should already know. I live by it. I love it. I have not been uh, persuaded to try anything else. I don't think I'm going to try anything else, at least not right now. This is what works for me. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So yeah this this stuff is just like you know how people say that's bae well this is bae so yeah i love this stuff so i'm gonna put that everywhere that i use that concealer and then i don't really bake but i do use more than enough for whatever reason i don't know it just happens um so i'm gonna take that put that there and then once i'm finished putting it where i want it to go i'm gonna take my brush i don't know what type of brush it is i don't know the brand i don't know anything here but i'm gonna take the brush right here and kind of swipe everything off just like get rid of that excess product and um, once that's done I always go in with my mac mineralized skin finish in the shade deep and i use that to blend everything out like everything on my face oh wait i lied okay i lied sorry um I'm going to actually contour. Now I'm contouring with this um, LA Girl Pro Concealer in Dark Cocoa. I've been using the Warm Honey shade as my highlight for like years, as I mentioned earlier, years. And so recently, like within the past few months, I just figured why not try this? I think I saw Catherine uh, Bedell using this and I was like, well, that's just common sense. Like why didn't I think of that? So I started using it as my contour shade, but I don't know, like lately I've just been noticing that it's, it's not the easiest, like it's not hard to blend out, but at the same time, like why do more than you have to? So I'm actually on the hunt for something else to do my contour. And I just recently saw that Anastasia Beverly Hills is actually coming out with foundation sticks and they're pretty affordable. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, purchase one of those. They may be dropping today, but either way, I think it's worth a try or I'm gonna go at least like get my face done at Sephora before I purchase. But yeah, I'm just pretty much on the hunt for something to do my contour with because this is no longer really working for me. Like I'm settling right now in my life. But it gets the job done as you can see. Like, you know, it's still blendable and it does great just takes a little extra work. Now 
Now, girls, with your contour on your nose, please make sure you're blending that out. Please make sure you're blending that out. Again, please make sure you're blending that out. Um, sometimes I see people with, like, dark lines on their nose, whether it be, like, Snapchat videos, Instagram videos, or in real life. And it's just not, it's, it's not, it's not cute. So, make sure you're blending that out with everything. Make sure you're blending it out. That should be my motto because, like, I'm pretty sure I say it every video, but you just need to blend. Like, blend for your life, okay? Blend like your life depends on it. Like, girl, just blend. When you're doing your makeup, just blend. You know, kind of like Dory says, just keep swimming, just, just keep blending, just keep blending. Got it? Seeing that every time you do your makeup, girl, just blend. So I took that powder and I'm going in just to clean up my contour. You guys know that. Make it pop. Make it pop. So once I swipe all this product off, that's when I'm going to go in with my MAC mineralized skin finish boom there it is so yeah i'm going in with that and deep and this stuff is just it's amazing i don't care what your skin type is i don't care what shade you are i'm sure they have your shade um this is definitely to me a staple product because it, it just works great for blending and as of late um i've actually stopped using foundation on my neck like, well, this just happened like two days ago because I, I just discovered this. So, yeah, now I don't take my foundation down my neck. I actually use this powder on my neck. And it, man, bruh, it works wonders. So, here I'm struggling with my eyeliner. <laughs> Struggle. <laughs> like, I used to wear eyeliner all the time and be a beast at it. Like, I was a beast. Um, but then I went through this phase of not really liking liner and so now I'm just pretty much trying to relearn how to use liner and yeah create these wings now I'm not a huge fan of winged eyeliner but with this color telepathy like it's just it's such a bomb color like I felt like I had to do something a little dramatic I knew I couldn't go with no liner and I knew I couldn't do basic because this ain't no basic color so yeah, I decided to go in and try my hand at a like super duper thick wing liner. And I think it turned out okay in the end. So yeah, now I'm using my ColourPop, uh, I don't know what this is guys, I'm going to link it down below, okay? Everything is going to be linked down below. But um, all I know is it's an eye pencil and it is navy blue and navy blue has like been my thing and when I pictured like before I did this look, when I pictured navy blue and gold together, um, or yellow, whatever you want to call it, I just thought it would be magic, and so I decided to try it. Now, it doesn't look as awesome as I thought it thought as I thought it would look, but I mean, it still turned out okay. I still like it. I just don't love it like I did in the vision that I saw in my head. So um, yeah, this is that, and these pencils, guys. These pencils. These pencils are very cheap, they're very inexpensive, and um, they're just affordable. They're worth a shot. So as you guys saw, I'm using, or I use Jaclyn Hills um, Amaretto as my blush, and I use the Laura Geller Gilded Honey as my highlight, which I'm also using right now on my brow bone. Now, I didn't record that, or I did record it, but I cut that footage out because my daughter was in the background just she was turning up okay and I didn't want to put her all over the internet so like that so um I had to cut that footage out so I apologize about that but yeah um I'm pretty much using that highlight in my inner tear duct as well actually no this is Jaclyn Hill's Prosecco pop in my inner tear duct because I thought it would pop so <laughs> yeah My NYX uh, Dewy Finishing Spray, love this stuff, always use it, winter, spring, summer, fall, like all year round. I just, I love this and 
haven't tried the matte one, don't want to, because I love this one. I have dry skin, so anything that can like spruce my skin up is amazing. So I use my House of Lashes Iconic Lashes. Um, for this look, I applied them off camera because I struggle real bad on camera sometimes, and this is one of those days. For my lips, I'm using two Milani products. This is um, their matte, uh, I think it's more. I don't know. I don't have it in front of me, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, but again, it's going to be listed down below. Anyway, I know the color is Covet, and um, the lipstick that I'm going to use in the center is Teddy Bear by Milani. Now, both of these things, both of the colors, I really, really like. But Teddy Bear is like, if you're a brown skin girl and you want something that looks like your lip, but ain't your lip, use Teddy Bear. I promise you, you won't regret it. Go ahead and grab that. And it's really inexpensive as well. You can find it at Walmart. I'm sure Target has it. But yeah, it's really good. Don't mind my wig. I'm going to fix that in just a second off camera. So yeah, this is the Teddy Bear. love this stuff y'all I swear I love it and that is it all right so that's it for this look I hope you guys enjoyed it if you want more videos like this please be sure to leave a comment hit that like button y'all bye